here with a 2016 Ford Edge Titanium. I want to do a quick review about the car today. I just rented it for the weekend on Memorial Day to visit some friends in Michigan. Um, you know, it has a very sleek profile to this car and I just want to talk about how well it drives and you know how pleasant it was to go and take this vehicle for the weekend for a three hour road trip. This car comes with 18 inch rims. I think those are standard on the Titanium model with the 2.0 liter turbo. It has a very sleek profile in general. So everything seems to be metal on the car or plastic, painted plastic, except for the bottom part, which is all of this black material, black plastic. Reduces the amount of rust that the car will have over time. And you have black over black plastic over by the front A pillar near next to the mirrors. Has a very Lexus RX looking profile, which I believe this car really competes against. Even though the Lincoln MKX is more of the Lexus RX competitor, this car seems to drive just as well with a little bit more of a sporty flavor. You have the dual exhaust tips right here. Those come standard on every model that this uh, that the Ford Edge has. You have an LED light bar in the back of the car here. And as you can see, this is the Titanium model. It has the EcoBoost four-wheel drive, or all-wheel drive. You have LED lights in the back that light up at night so you can really show people like that you're braking and gives them more time to respond if you have to slam on the brakes. So let's go in the back here, show you how much room there is. See that light bar glow as you open the trunk. So back here, yeah, you got pretty good amount of space. You know, you got, you're gonna have that much room up top because this really cuts in the roof line, but you got hydraulic struts to keep your lift gate back up. It's all power on the titanium models. I think it's also an option on the SELs. And back here, you got uh, yep, you got a temporary, let's see if it's a temporary or full-size spare. Looks like a full-size spare back there, and you got extra, this, this is a brand new car, so you're going to have, uh, you know, your, your extra floor mats back there and a lot of storage space so you can put more stuff back here. Speaker systems are back here. I think that might be the subwoofer because this comes with a premium audio system on the titanium models. You have fold-down rear seats that I'll show you in a minute. And to close the lift gate, just press the button right here. For the titaniums, you have the power lift gate system. And your backup camera is located right here, which hides underneath the Ford emblem. Right there. That's your backup camera. Your high mounted brake lights right here, and your your antenna is right there because this comes with satellite radio, and usually those need a little bit extra range, so the antenna isn't built into the vehicle. You're gonna have it up there like a shark fin design. So yeah, so this car is very sleek on the outside. You got some door edge guards there, so if you know, it, nothing binds when you're opening and closing the doors. Turn signal mirrors. So you have turn signals on the mirrors on the car as well. And you also have a different way to um, open up your vehicle as well with the type pad on the side. You also have blind spot monitoring right here that comes standard on the vehicle with cross traffic alert. So to open the vehicle, you have your, um, you know, you have your, your keyless go system. So basically what you're gonna do is you have the key in your pocket or anywhere on you, and you simply just reach your hand into the door handle and it basically unlocks the vehicle. You can also have a type pad code as well if you want to do it that way. You just pull open the door and that's basically how you unlock the car. And you can just get in and basically start it up. Very solid door, really good materials all the way around the car. You know, this is all of a chrome plastic looking stuff. Uh, this isn't a real chrome door handle. This has like a plastic, uh, you know, feel to it, but it still looks good. Really good materials all the way around, and this has a leather trim interior, so you're going to have leather here, and you have soft touch padding up here. Blind spot monitoring with really good sized mirrors. The hood has a little bit of a weird look to it. It looks very, um, you know, it feels like a tank when you're driving it in a lot of ways. It sits up high, and you got these um, weird angles on the hood right here. So in some ways, you know, it, it makes it feel a little bit more sporty, but at the same time, it does make it feel really uh, tankish and very confidence inspiring. So to start the car, you put your foot on the brake and you hit the start button, just like that. It's already started up. Very quiet engine. Uh, it's, it's a very nice car overall. Navigation system is standard on the Titanium models and this car has the, uh, the SYNC 3 system. Um, very good system. It's way better than my Ford Touch in my opinion. It has the response time is just excellent in a lot of ways. That was pretty slow actually. Now we can speed up. I think when you first start up the car, it's really slow. 
But once you're underway, it seems like it just works a lot faster. Yeah, there we go. So now, it, now it's picking up pace. So, you know, first few seconds you start off the cards a little slow, but you know, if you gotta pair your phone or anything, it's really fast to do that. Um, navigation system works well. It's, it's the best navigation system next to Google, Google Maps that I've experienced. And with car, in-car navigation systems, they use satellites instead of uh, you know, phone signal towers, cell phone towers. So you're gonna have a signal wherever you go, even if you're in the mountains or anywhere that your phone's not gonna get a signal. This car will be able to get you somewhere if you have navigation. Climate system, I just use the climate buttons down here to adjust everything. They have hard keys down here and your heated seats have three levels right here for both driver and passenger. It's a Sony uh, sound system, like that's how their, their sound system's made by Sony, so they have all this. You get it on the uh, upper trims, like on the titanium with a few more options and the SEL and the uh, Sport as standard, you're gonna have your surround sound Sony system, which has, I believe it's 500 or 700 watts of, of power, so you're gonna have really good kick and bass on that. But if you wanna adjust the sound quality, you just hit the sound button, and that should bring you right there, and then you can adjust all of your stuff like speed adaptive volume, and your balance and fade, and treble mid-range and bass. So, and then you just can easily adjust your volume right here. AC buttons and controls are right here. You have an eject button for your CD player that comes standard. You have a pretty good glove box with, actual, with an actual button right here to unlock it. It's not lined, but it's also it's damp to make it have a more of a luxury feel to it. It has really good space too. You also have pretty big bottle, you know, hold holders right here and on both the driver and passenger side and the door handles right there so it's easy to get in and out of the car and just pull the door closed without any effort whatsoever. You also have some storage space right here opens up fast you have two USB ports and you got a lot of room back there you could probably fit a you know a Galaxy Note or a um, iPhone uh, 6s plus in there it's pretty big and you also have your electronic parking brake so to activate it um, you can just pull up on the switch to get the parking brake to work to release it um, you have to have your foot on the brake and then you push down on the switch to unlock it and to release the parking brake so also, there's a pass-through back here that goes to the other side, so you got some more storage space behind the console, too. Cup holders are really, really big. They're easily flexible for your 44 ounce, uh, you know, whatever you got um, at the gas station. So you got plenty of room there. Huge console right here. This is, you know, this is not very wide or long, but you can, you can fit. It's almost a foot deep, so that's pretty big. You can fit a person there. Or, I don't know what else you want to fit in there, a small baseball bat, one of those trophy things that they give out to kids at those small league things. Um, right here you got your, your uh, not USB, you got your power outlet right there for your phone or other device that you want to plug in right there. Uh, it's pretty nice. You also have power front passenger and driver seats that come standard on the titanium models. And you know you also have really good fit and finish all the way around the vehicle with extra storage up here as well. That rises up. This is nicely padded down here. You got some grippy material so nothing really can slip inside there. Everything has a really solid feel and you know feels really premium for this kind of vehicle in this class. You have a lot of different selectable modes here. You have your RPM, your tachometer right here. You, so you can go through different display modes right here. You have your tachometer, miles to empty, uh, where your all-wheel drive, where the power is being sent with the all-wheel drive system, either front and rear for both front and rear. Uh, your speedometer, you have your pressure gauge right there for all of your tires, back to your tachometer, you have your trip computer, you have your average fuel economy, and with a lot of city driving and hard flooring it everywhere, I seem to be getting about 19.6 miles to the gallon. On the highway, going about 75 miles per hour, you're going to average more about 24 to 25 miles per gallon. Reaching that EPA estimated number of 28 miles per gallon highway is Actually, not the easiest thing to do when you have the AC on and you're keeping up with traffic. So if you want to reach that EPA number, you're going to have to go in about 70 miles per hour with the AC off and using um, the premium gas. Now, you can use premium gas with this vehicle and you'll, you'll get the uh, maximum power that it's rated at, 245 horsepower and 275 foot-pounds of torque. Um, but you can run this car on regular fuel. It's just fine. The, the car will adjust the timing for it. Um, your fuel economy won't suffer too much, but you will lose about a half a second off the 0 to 60 time with 87 octane versus 93 octane. So that's something just to keep in mind. You have your driver assist systems that come standard on the titanium models, including 
Well, the traction control system is standard on every model, but you have your blind spot monitoring system. And that'll show up right here in the corner of your mirror right here. You can't see it on camera, but there's two vehicles as a uh, little symbol on the side of the, uh, of the mirror. You have your cross traffic alerts, so if you're backing up out of a parking space and you can't see to your left or right behind you, the light will come on in the mirror and it'll flash you if a car is coming quickly from the left or the right side, depending on the mirror. So if it's coming from the left side of the vehicle, it'll come up, come up in that mirror with a light, or if the vehicle's coming up from behind you on the right side of your vehicle, you'll have a light in that mirror to tell you to stop and not get hit if you're pulling out of a, tra of a parking spot. You also have your rear park aids, so you know your backup camera also has park sensors, but you can turn off your park sensors here so they're not beeping as you back up. And you have different vehicle settings right here, which I haven't explored. Uh, vehicle settings, for instance, uh, your locks, auto lock, so like when you reach a certain speed once you start up the car and drive off, it'll actually lock the vehicle for you. You have your oil life reset in there, lighting, auto lamp delay, so if you have your headlights on automatic mode, how long is it going to stay on? How long are your lights going to stay on after you lock the vehicle? My key system, so you can program that so you're, if your kids are driving the vehicle, they can't go over 80 miles per hour, you'll have, um, you know, your power will be reduced and you can also find out where they are because the navigation system is programmable with an app in your phone so you can see where they're going. And it'll also record like, you know, how often did they use full throttle, how often did they take tight turns at high speed, did the stability control activate at one point, did they use the analog brake system, those kind of things are recorded so you know what your kids are doing, especially if they're teenage drivers. So yeah, you have a lot of different modes here. It's really intuitive, really easy to use. Your navigation system is there on the right with your time and your temperature display. And you have your windshield wipers right here with your plus, your upshift side for your paddle shifters and your downshift negative side with your, for your downshifts with the transmission. You also have your cruise control right here and this is how you navigate. So you can use, use this side of the steering wheel if we were to navigate the screen on the left side of the screen up ahead. And then if you use all these arrows and stuff to navigate, um, what's up here on the navigation side of the of the whole front display screen right here and you have your headlights down here with your um, With different modes right here. I think you can adjust different cruise control settings right here And then you also have your park lights your headlights and your automatic lights right there So it's pretty neat. I don't know what this oh, that's the okay So that button right there is how you release your rear hatch on the vehicle and I think this is Extra storage right here, so that works too if you want to put in some coins or something. Big dead pedal to rest your foot. Seats are very comfortable in the vehicle, but if you're going to be um, a little bit, if you're over 200 pounds um, and you have more of a thick upper body, I think these bolsters are going to be a little tight for you. Um, also, the the front down here, this padding is really thick right here. So if you have a if you have a larger frame, um, um, you know it's going to be. It's going to be kind of thick. It's going to be kind of hard to get comfortable. They really want to hold you in place during the corners, but it feels a little bit cramped in some ways with the seat. So a skinnier person overall might fit better in these seats um, than a more heavy or thicker framed individual. You have your power seat controls right here on the side too, and there's plenty of space so you can you know, get your hand between there when you're driving. Auto dimming rear view mirror. Um, LED lights throughout the vehicle with your sunglass holder right here that can actually fit sunglasses. It's not just a gimmick. Um, voice commands work really well, and you have your home link system for your garage door right here. You also have, um, you know, your vanity lights right here for your mirrors. So overall, I really, really like this vehicle. It has a lot to offer. Um, I'm really a big fan of it. The only thing that I, I think it could do with, you know, improve upon is probably have better fuel economy. But other than that, it's super quiet on the road. The ride's really good. It's really smooth. It does everything really well for the class, and it's under $40,000 for all of this in a car that probably drives almost as well as a BMW X5 without as good of interior fit and finish and without the power. But other than that, I think it just it drives really well for the class, and I'm a really big fan of it. So thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the section below. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.